Yeah, Sri Aurobindo says that becoming is the only being. And and I think that's this is a very interesting mm, way like to that. to put it is that it, whatever the 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 infinite is is only becoming in infinite amount of ways. And, and that that exactly could be, and this is kind of where I'm honing in on the logic of the infinite I'm trying. Again, the cricket trying to imagine the big game. But I do think that the logic of the infinite is that it must validate the fact that it is infinite and that it does so by creating an infinite amount of illusory finity and that we are that. You know, tatvam asi, we are that. I and my father are one. The more that you realize and embody the fact that if this is true, that we are the publishers of this, and the more that you realize that we are the publishers and the players, and that here we are playing, I think the more you live from truth, the more you live from, and when you, and like you described earlier as well, when you realize that the one I, the one I, one I that is experiencing it itself from through all through all of us, and that the more that you embody that realization, if it can, you know, like Adi Ashanti calls it, you know, the flickering, you know, you get the light, it flickers a little, you're like, <gasps> oh, oh, and then and then like slowly. Um, it does. It, it is in a sense, like you said, it's it's a death and a rebirth. It's a it's a caterpillar into a butterfly. If that light, when that light, and that's what it seems like we're evolving towards, is that light permanently staying on? That's when the being can, the individual artist can no longer ever ever have any violence or even negativity. Not let a yeah violence at the worst negativity at even the most minuscule uh, malevolence towards another because it's you, and then if we can yeah. get there as as a planet, that's that's I think this this main key of the where where we're heading. Yeah, I mean, I, and also you said if it's true that we are the publisher as well as the player, I would say it's definitely true. Like, there's no way that we are not the same physical stuff of the universe, and 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 there's no way that the self is what we think it is. You know, to to think that you are not the main event of uh, that you are not the same thing as as the kind of ground of being that illusion kind of comes about because we take this story we tell ourselves of separation very very seriously, right? But I think. The, the idea of the infinite as well is really relevant because I think I think there are, we've touched on it in like two different ways, I think. Um, and there's the first way in, in the sense that, which also relates to the idea with why I'm not, uh, I don't believe that consciousness is the kind of ground of being, is the only way, the only kind of speculative way I can think about as, as to why this is happening right now, like why are we, why is this going on, why are we here, would be that the kind of default of reality if you if you have no boundaries, nothing going on, like nothing to hem reality in, then it's infinity, right? Like that's kind of just the default. It, it, if you're going to make no assumptions, you could say there was consciousness in the beginning, but then you're like, well, where did that come from? What what gave it that structure? But if you just say there's, if you say nothing effectively, there's infinity, and in infinity, everything that can happen will happen. All the you know things will start happening, patterns will emerge. And at some point, those patterns become these patterns that open their eyes and go, what the hell's going on? Yes. Um, so that's my picture of the world is it's a lawful yes. unfolding that can be understood. Um, and there, there is no, the infinity is the beginning. There is no, it's not like there was some, some being with structure who thought I'm going to will all this into existence. I, I think it's just happening and it will happen forever because yeah. you can't you just, you can't come up with an end to infinity. It yeah. just doesn't make sense. Yep. Um, and you can also connect with that by, as you said before, like kind of sinking into the present moment, recognizing your being now, you're the nature of your mind. You know, if you say consciousness is infinite to the, to the average person, like, well, you know, you might be meaning it in the sense of it is the, the kind of infinite ground of being, 
But if I say consciousness is, has this quality of infinity, I, what I mean is it's not finite. It's not actually bounded into concepts in the way we think it is. We think it's divided and, and structured, and but it's actually not. It's it's I was, maybe it's maybe you should coin a new term like a finite or something as opposed to infinite, because um, infinite has this kind of I guess idea of like spatial extension and stuff. But if it's it's just it's not finite, um, and when you recognize that in yourself, you do connect with with this ground of being. And I totally get why, you know, in the best, in the kind of deepest moments of meditation, you know, you have this feeling of consciousness just kind of beholding existence and there being this wordless getting it. You just kind of get it in a way that you can't with words. And it's, if you were try, going to try and put it in words, it is something like, oh, you're me. Like, but then that's not quite right because there, there is no me. So it's more like it is, like is or something like that, right? If you, if you wanted to but wasn't it? And I see why from there, because that's happening in consciousness, it's tempting to think, well, maybe this consciousness is me and this consciousness is everything. And I think that's where metaphysically people can kind of differ, but we should all be humble, I guess, is because like I will make claims about what we can't say and what we can say. And ultimately we're, we're really way out. We're in deep waters here. I think, you know, when we're trying to label this stuff. <laughs> oh, I love this. Love this, Jay. So, uh, 